Galileo plans tabled by the EU sparked a furious response from Washington, who warned in times of conflict the enemy could use some applications of Galileo against them. The Global Navigation Satellite System, GNSS, is set to go online in five years and will feature a public regulated service, PRS, to be used by government agencies, armed forces and emergency services. But the EU decided this crucial feature would not be accessible to the UK after Brexit, despite London playing an imperative part in its development. It is not the first time the UK and EU have squabbled over PRS, and, according to the Associate Director of the Atlantic Council, it almost stopped the UK signing up in the first place. Writing for the US think tank, foreign policy expert David Wimmer claimed, much of London's hesitation over Galileo during its development in the 90s and noughties was, ironically, over the same PRS that may prevent the UK's future participation in the system. PRS was first mentioned in a November 2000 European Commission report outlining the potential costs and services for the new Galileo system. To many EU states at the time, including the UK, the creation of a service that naturally could be used for military purposes managed by Brussels and using EU funds was a bridge too far. The idea that a system used by the British military for sensitive operations could be under the control of bureaucrats in Brussels was unacceptable to many in Westminster. And, as Mr. Wimmer pointed out, it was not just the UK who were concerned. He detailed how former U.S. Deputy Secretary of Defense Paul Wolfowitz sent a scathing letter over concerns the system would use the same radio spectrum as the U.S. GPS military service. He said the Americans feared in times of conflict, they would have problems because of Galileo, highlighting concerns that the enemy could use some applications of Galileo and that they could not impede that. EU diplomatic sources claimed identical letters were received by several Brussels-based defense ministries in 2001. It reportedly continued, I am writing to convey my concerns about security ramifications for future NATO operations if the EU proceeds with Galileo satellite navigation services that would overlay spectrum of GPS military M-code signals.